Just show me. Pick up my ear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Good morning, everyone. It is nice and bright and shiny early. <laughs> oh my lord. Um, yeah, one day I am so looking forward to doing something different every other than my job. Anyway, um, that's besides the point. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you have not seen any of my videos yet. There's a lot of you that haven't. So today is Review Tuesday, and a little quick little information about my reviews. Um, I do not do the trendy thing and review the current items. I review I review things that have been out a while. I mean, yeah, some days I'm going to, and I actually am thinking about that. Um, but today is not that day. So sorry if you came here looking for the next, you know, biggest item from such and such. But I would do do things a little bit. It's organized to me, and it's kind of interesting to me. Um, I hope it is to you too. If you keep watching, you might be more interested than you think. It might sound boring at first, but <clears throat> you never know. So, the way I do things, I do things alphabetically. And I do them by brand alphabetically. And I do them, and I flip-flop from main brand to not main brand. So that we get a variety of main brand, you know, okay, drugstore to high-end. And, um, holy cow. <laughs> and um, I also do, I do face and lips and eyes. So I get everything in there. We're going to do a little bit of everything. It does that. That does mean it's going to take a while to like, for instance, my very first one was on a, it'll be a while before I do all of Elmay's whole entire life. But for today, and you never know now that I've done one of Elmay, maybe, maybe set that word to just sounds weird. My Elmay, Elmay, whatever. Um, now that I've done it's about me, all me, we're moving on. Uh, I might start, you know, looking out for their new stuff and said, well, since I've done this one, we're gonna do their new stuff. So you never know. Don't judge me yet. I just like doing it this way. I think it's, everybody is doing what's new and, it, and you want that, I get it, to get a variety of opinions, you really do. Especially because I know when I did my LMA TLC foundation, there were several people had already um, <clears throat> who had already reviewed it. Obviously, several people, but many many opinions make for a good judgment, so or make for a good decision, not judgment, but good decision. Okay, what I'm struggling with and what I'm trying to show you today, we are on L, and that for and a um, high end, and for me that is Lorac. And eyeshadow, and I chose their Unzipped Elegance palettes. This is one of their mini, mini, not M A N Y, but M I N I, mini palettes. And um, yep, having troubles getting it out. I'm about ready to tear this box in half. It doesn't cooperate. Oh my gosh! You can hear my squeaky chair. Oh my gosh! I am so sorry. I realized that in another video, I'm like, geez, wheeze. You can hear the chair that I'm on. It's one of those fold up chairs. Yeah, folding chairs. <clears throat> that's why I put music in my videos, but you can still hear it. I was like, oh my gosh. Well, that's not the only reason, but I was like hoping it would cover it, but it doesn't. So my apologies. <clears throat> I'm going to try to hold still. All right. Which I won't. <laughs> All right, this is the palette. This is what it looks like, and it comes with your standard little. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got a mirror. So it's got some very pretty five shadows, three. Nope. Two um, mattes, two shimmers, and a, no, one shimmer and two glitters. Sorry, sorry. That far end one would probably be called a shimmer. You can't see it, pick it up in the camera very well, but it's it's got a touch of a shimmer, and 
these two I would call more pressed glitter. So, <clears throat> without further ado, I thought we'll go ahead and test out the brushes because after all, it's a name brand brush, right? Yeah. We'll go ahead and test out the brush <clears throat> with it. Not figured I would go ahead just in case there's fallout because that's one of the things I check for when I do eyeshadows. How much fallout is there? How much um, in the pan and on the lid? I'm getting there. Talk, talk, talk. I'm getting there. Also, pigmentation and blendability. Those are the three things that I look for. Now, <clears throat> that does not exclude palettes for me. I don't I don't have that luxury yet to exclude anything. So I have to. If uh, the palette's bad, I continue using it. Maybe one day. And I do have a lot of palettes. So Honestly, I probably could, but I just, I spent that money. No matter what, even if it sucks, I spent that money. I'm going to stick with it. I do know you can return it. I know. I paused. I was thinking. But, eh, I'm good. I mean, like I said, unless a palette absolutely sucks, like no pigmentation, and I've only come across one, and it wasn't a palette. No, um, it was a quad. No pigmentation, Fallout City and everything, you know, just all oh, checks off all the baddies, if you will. No, yeah, I keep it. <clears throat> that's just me. You don't have to. Don't feel bad if you don't, but that's just who I am. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pry my eyes. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of, um, on one eyelid, just to see how well it holds up throughout the day. And that would be the other one. How long does it last and does it crease? And haha, ha, this is from my shop, my stash. It's my Revlon concealer, but we are running low. I did not know that when I started this, you know, when I chose it. I thought I had plenty left, at least enough. To make it through 20 days, I only wear makeup like 20 to 25 days out of the month. I know that's a lot compared to some, but I like wearing it to work. And I don't always, but I will say, out of 20 days, I probably wear makeup 18. But then there's videos and stuff, so I mean, yeah, that's where the 25 comes in. <coughs> okay, almost. One more thing. Um... I'm not going to be able to find it, am I? Yep. Nope. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> we are going to use... Now, this also tests this. Um, I've tested it before. I think it works pretty decent. This is from Makeup Revolution, and it's an eye primer. Um, <clears throat> the other day, I used Benefit's eye primer. Their um, Stay Don't Stray. I think it was my sample. I'm not going to blame Benefit on that one. I think it was my sample because it is a sample size. I'll show you real quick. It is a sample size. This is well under a year old. This is not even older, but I think this one still works. And that one I kind of got from a secondhand dealer, if you will. You know what I'm saying? One of those that guarantees to be the real thing, but the price is so unbelievable. You're like, Whatever, dude. <clears throat> Back then, I was like, woohoo! But now I'm like, oh, maybe I should have been a little more leery. So, okay. I'm going to start in with this first shade called Untouchable. It's, yeah, I'm going to remember that mirror thing. It's that bone white. I'm going to use that as a setting powder to set my eyelids. I've seen many a YouTuber use, you know, an eyeshadow to set their lids, and some people use actual powder. I've done both. I don't even have a preference right now. They both seem cool. <coughs> okay. Since I had no clue what the colors were, I mean, a little bit, because I chose it. That's why I chose it. I actually chose it for this last one right there. I'm looking at the name Undefiable. 
that one I like. So, <clears throat> I think we're going to start with that shade Timeless. We'll see how pigmented you are. It's got a little bit of kick up. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see a little bit. I'm kind of like not the well lit here. I mean, I'm lit, but then, yeah, you get what I'm saying. So, I'm not going to try to explain myself. I'll just jumble it up. All right. Do a whole bunch of my promotions here. I'll give that a B on pigmentation because if you look at it, I knew it was going to be a soft color, but if you look at it in the pan, and then if you look at it on my eyes, it's kind of lackluster, not extremely, I'm just saying kind of. So that's why I say B on pigmentation. I think for that color, it should be darker. <coughs> that's just my opinion. J-M-O. And I do know um, Lorac Shadows, as a matter of fact, Tati, she did a declutter of all her palettes and she kept the Lorac, I think it's the unzipped one or Pro Palette one. Pro Palette one. They've got so many names. Pro Palette one. I think that's it. But it's the first one. I know that. So, yeah, she kept that one. She liked it. And she liked Lorac's Shadows. So, I think she said she decluttered a couple others, but she kept that one. So, yeah. I mean, it definitely on blendability, I'm going to give it a A- minus to A. It definitely does really good. I feel like right here is just a little bit, but I feel like it always happens no matter what. I've used a whole lot. Not Natasha but blah, 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 blah. Yeah, can't say that name. Natasha Denona. <laughs> I watch everybody make fun of me for that. <laughs> it's it's to be expected. Yeah, it's all right. <clears throat> okay, so here's the, my dilemma. I really like the Undefiable, that nice burgundy red, but I really like these two pressed glitters too. I kind of want to go in with, I mean, I could do the whole cut crease, but I've never done it in my life. <sighs> Instead, I think I'm going to try to do a halo. I don't want to, well, you know what, it's all right. As long as I don't want to muddy this, that side, that's the side I used, um, at Untouchable, that nice bone white color. And I think I'm going to yeah, do a halo eye. See, I don't think it does have any. That's really good for a very rich color. The other thing I guess you could say I look for, especially when it comes, when a palette has pressed glitters in it, that is actually really pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. Is, sorry, uh, shiny objects. <laughs> is, um... How well does it stick with just a brush? Because, you know, you've seen, we've all done it, or seen YouTubers do it. It's, um, they go in with the brush. Oh, that doesn't work that well. So let's go in with our fingers. Or then they spray the brush with FX Plus. Why does it always have to be Mac FX Plus? I mean, I get you. Mac Fix Plus is great, but it's pricey. I do plan on getting some this year, though. That is one of my goals and I didn't get a chance to talk about it because I didn't start YouTube till April but real quick note I started with a goal of two high-end two drugstore brands of every single thing eyeliner eyeshadow lipstick foundation primer everything I plan to get that was Kind of like my goal for the year. May not get there, <clears throat> especially money. 
when he did it. But you never know. I might. I might find a way without going in and using the kids' child or the kids' college foundation. <laughs> no. Sorry about that noise. I was trying to be funny, but it didn't work out. <laughs> All right. It's not building back up over there, but it still looks good. I'm not extremely disappointed that it's not. I'm going to take this up and over. A little trick I picked up on YouTube because I have hooded eyes. When I open my eyes, you can't see it if it sits just on the eyelid. So I try to take it just a smidge higher. Just past the crease. Okay, that's working, that's working. It's actually working pretty nicely. Like I said, I had heard good things about Lorac Shadows, but you never know. Different strokes from different folks. Everybody's different. Go flick this out a bit. We'll clean that up. Make that a little more sharper. We're going to use their mirror. Yeah, duh. Should have been using it the whole time. Ah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. I like how that's looking. It's even. It's pigmented. Again, I can't get that inner corner to get any more pigmented. I don't know why. Ah. I lied. There you go. <laughs> All right. Now. Now comes the fun part. <clears throat> We're going to go in with this darker of the two glitters unattached. Holy moly. Did not expect it to last that long. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. We're going to stay with the same brush. Yep, yep, yep. We are running behind. That's okay. I could have left it just like that, too. I think it still would have looked good, but I wanted to play with this pressed glitter to see how well it performs. Ah! Uh, decent with the brush? I think if I wet it or use my finger, which we're going to go in and use my finger. Yeah, definitely better with the finger. Which, that is nothing against the palette because I have to say that too many times. And I totally need to pull down my eyelid because I am getting old and the muscles and everything in it aren't what they used to be. Oh, yeah, see? That one, really. Stood out. Okay. Well, final, I'll do a final check at the end of the day. But for now, I think it looks great. It blends. It's pigmented. It's, yeah, blends, pigmented. It's uh, not a whole lot of fallout, just a smidge. It's not bad at all. And it, as far as fallout onto my cheek, I don't think it had any. One way to check real fast, because I really have to move it. I just realized what time it was, how much time I have left, and I don't have a lot. So we got to hurry up and put the rest of our face makeup on. So, and the rest of our eyes. <clears throat> And then pop back in so you can see. <laughs> I'm gonna hurry, 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 hurry. Eh. 
I mean, that could be face makeup too, a little leftover from the other day, but if that's fallout, it's not bad. I really think it's more face makeup. <laughs> I do. Oof. All right. So I'm going to go off camera and put on the rest of my makeup. See you in a bit. And we're back. No. <laughs> put on the rest of my makeup. So about the only other thing I did, oh, I was trying to, to make that chair squeak, um, is line the bottom, I have bottom eyes with that, um, that reddish color and smoked it out with the brownish color, timeless. So overall thoughts, I really, really like it. There isn't a thing wrong with it. Um, price wise, it's $26, I believe, for five shadows. It's about $5 a shadow. Okay, so single ones on ColourPop are $5. So it's not too bad. I've seen better. Um, if, I think if you average more face shadows out, it ends up being like $1 to $2 each. So, and I mean, you know what? It's okay. And the pan sizes are decent too. They're not great by any means, but not overly large, but they're decent. So not too bad. Not too bad. I'll take it. I'll definitely keep it. I will be using this more often. Um, yeah, I really like the look I came up with. It's a, got this Christmassy vibe, but it's called Elegance for a reason. So, anyway, I will try to remember to check in later with you to let you see how good it held up. Okay, remember, this eye has the primer, this eye does not. So, um, we'll see how it holds up on its own. And versus with the primer. And maybe that might be telltale of the primer too. So you never know. All right. Have a great day and I will see you soon. And in case I forget to say so, love you. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Click that like button. And if you feel like it, hit that sub notification bell too. So, oh yeah, and leave me a comment down below. Uh, what did you think of the look I made? And what do you think of Lorac shadows? Have you tried them? What do you think of them? I'd like to hear your opinion. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. So have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.